Hey everyone, it's Joe Gleason, Capital Center for the Arts, and it's Friday, May 31st, last day of May. We're 22 days away from opening the Bank of New Hampshire stage. I think you can see the marquee behind me. Let's do a weekly walkthrough. Thanks. Well, let's go inside. We'll take a look at the progress that's been made this week. So the first thing we're going to notice is that most of the doors, interior doors, have been hung, waiting on hardware. Uh, the painting has mostly been, been uh, has mostly been completed. Uh, you can see the Bank of New Hampshire uh, branch office here, and their carpet is in place already, so that's looking pretty good. And that's the big surprise this week. Uh, they started the carpet just today, and they've come in through the lobby first. Uh, they've completed our box office. Ceiling tiles are in place in the box office. Uh, electrical outlets are in. Some of the finish plates are in. Uh, I will be doing some of the data uh, terminations uh, in the data connection ports uh, probably this weekend or shortly thereafter. So that space is coming along. We're still waiting on the uh, kiosks the, that form the box office counter. There will be three rolling carts uh, that uh, go right in that uh, red splash of color. Um, so those will happen pretty soon. Come down the hallway, and it's nice to see the carpet in place. The millwork over here for the concession and uh, uh, kitchen has been completed. Uh, there's uh, appliances, not appliances, uh, kitchen equipment that will be coming in. I uh, believe uh, early next week. Uh, we've got the mop sink in down there. So some of the plumbing has started to get finished off. Um, looks like we're going to meet our deadline. Yay. Which, if you recall, is June 22nd for the first performance, which is Ed Balloon. Uh, so our doors are in, uh, covered with protective material. Uh, waiting on hardware for those. Come down into the theater, and the back wall has been painted black on the stage. Side walls uh, for in the wings of back stage have been painted black, and uh, this wainscoting on the side has been finished painted. Okay, the seating system is in. We saw that last time. Uh, it is functional. Uh, it's just being protected with plastic wrap for now until all the dusty work is complete. Uh, the lighting truss that was laid out on the floor here last week uh, has been stored into these carts temporarily. Uh, they'll be hanging that in the next uh, week, week and a half. Uh, those will go overhead in the uh, audience area where we're standing. And this is some of the really cool... Uh, sections of lighting truss that have this helix shape to them. So typical lighting truss is what we just walked by, and then this helix stuff has a full twist in it, uh, which is pretty unique. I don't think anyone else in New Hampshire has that installed yet. Uh, it's a brand new product. Uh, and this is your typical lighting truss, square, no twists, just a curve or a straight section, depending on the layout. All right, uh, we could go backstage because the green room has seen a little bit of work in here too. And if I step back, these two uh, fairly large equipment racks are for the audio and lighting system, mostly audio, uh, amplifiers and such. Backstage, uh, doors are in, dressing rooms are uh, moving along. Uh, this is the green room. Uh, we can see the wall sconces have been put in. Uh, the ceiling has not been finished off yet. That's just popping ceiling tiles in. Uh, the kitchenette area, uh, where we'll have a small microwave, refrigerator, some storage, uh, that's all in and ready. So this weekend I'll be shopping for some furniture uh, for this room, nothing too big, but some comfortable places to sit down, and we'll see what we can find. 
Uh, backstage uh, hallway has an electrical panel, company switch. This is where we can tie in some uh, equipment from the road uh, companies that come through. Uh, fire extinguisher, of course, uh, cabinet on the wall, and uh, one of the other dressing rooms. The uh, makeup lights, uh, mirrors will have to go in, but the countertops are here, uh, which is great. Okay, let's take a look upstairs next. All right, we're on the second floor, entering into the uh, second floor space. Uh, balcony is over that way. You can see the doors have been uh, put in. A um, lot of progress up here. There's the uh, bar. The uh, countertop is actually installed, covered with uh, cardboard for now to protect it. But I think we can get a look at it on the back counter. It's the same style on the front. Uh, Corian, easy maintenance. Very nice. Uh, a lot of equipment to go in back here still. That'll be coming next week. And then if we look up, we should be able to see the ceiling tile uh, panels are all in place in the nice geometric uh, layout with multiple colors. Uh, our LED lighting fixtures here, the square uh, suspended uh, frames uh, look pretty good and there's several of them throughout the space and uh, there we go let's take a look at the bar from this angle so those two openings uh, in the back will be filled with uh, two large uh, uh, display monitors uh, so we can see the show while you're waiting at the uh, bar and uh, uh, down below on the uh, shelf there will be, uh, you know, liquor bottle racks. All right. We're excited. We've got three weeks left, and looks like we're going to make it. So come join us uh, June 20th, 21st, 22nd. Uh, we'll be open during market days. Hope to have the ability to get people in here and, and tour through the space. And uh, June 22nd, which is a Saturday night at 10 o'clock p.m., we will be presenting Ed Balloon, our first artist in the building. So that's going to be a fun night, a late night, but fun. And uh, come join us for that. Tickets are uh, only 15 bucks uh, for the uh, downstairs and 25 for the balcony if you want an actual seat. All right, that's it for this week, and uh, only a couple more of these to do, and then uh, I won't be doing weekly videos anymore. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.